Hi, do you have no idea what's going on in AC circuits? Do you completely feel lost? Well, this is Hacks, and today we're gonna help you find the total impedance of an AC circuit with the new type of calculator, a Sharp 506. This is our circuit, a beautifully drawn AC circuit with a 10 angle 40 volt source a 3 ohm resistor, an 8 ohm resistor, a 5 ohm resistor, and a negative J10 capacitor along with a J4 inductor. Normally, in a DC circuit, we would calculate the total resistance of the entire circuit. But instead, for an AC circuit, we would calculate total impedance, which is marked by ZT. Normally, we would worry about both a series and parallel impedance. Today, we're firstly going to focus on the parallel portion of the circuit, which consists of the two resistors, the one inductor, and the capacitor. We're going to move over here. To do the parallel portion, we have to first focus on the components we stated before. To do that, we do the same thing that we do with parallel resistors, which is down here. As you can see, we say, 1 over ZT, which is the total resistance of this section, 1 over ZT, which is the total resistance of this section, I kind of hit them, and then we put them 1 over, 1 over each other. Allow the cameraman to zoom in. Memes go slowly. To do this, we go back to our sharp 506. The Sharp 506 has a complex mode that allows you to put in the J's from both the capacitor and the inductor. You hit mode, then you continue on until you reach CPLX, which stands for complex. And then you press the I button to include the J into your calculations. I and J are two different letters, but they mean the same thing in circuitry. Negative 90 or 90 for clarification purposes. To calculate our circuit, we're going to use the Sharp 506. This calculator is already in complex mode, so we're going to put in our values. We start by putting parentheses 5 minus 10i, which is the J function and then second, and then two, which has the x to the negative one power. That will flip our value. And we add that to eight plus four j. And we flip that as well. Pressing the equal sign will give us that value, which is 0.14. Flipping that number will give us the parallel of our ZT, giving us 6.82. Pressing the second and then the EXP button, we get negative 1.46i. Presentation of what we're talking about with the Sharp 506. Here and here we have ZT in parallel. Right here we have the actual values. So 5 minus 10j in parallel with 8 plus 4j. Giving us 6.8 to 9 minus 1.463j ohms. Now remembering that we have the 3 ohm resistor back in the original circuit, we're going to add that to what we got in parallel. Giving us, in the end, 9.4. 829 minus J 1.463 ohms. And that is it completely for ZT. Again, thank you for watching Hacks, and we hope that you are less confused about AC circuits. Have a great day.